lovely CTs, welcome back to the channel. Now you guys know that I don't even do reviews on shows, but this is how mind blowing that this was. This Love is Blind season six, episode 12, that I had to get on here and talk about it because it's blowing up. It's the talk of the town, the talk of the blogs, and everybody is talking about it. If you watch Love is Blind, okay? The series that is on Netflix. Now specifically, I'm going to be talking about the couple AD and Clay, because that's the couple, you know, a lot of us were focusing in on we hoped was going to work out it was a lot of us favorite a lot of our you know couple that we was watching I ain't gonna say favorite couple anyways AD and Clay were supposed to get married but Clay ended up backing out and saying no at the altar so we know what love is blind first you don't even see the person that you're talking to you go through weeks and probably even months of getting to know this person you finally see them meet their family hang out with them it's like a whole process and and then you're supposed to get married to this person now after ad and clay took all this time to get to know each other hang around each other meet each other's families that's when you know clay decides to back out of it he says no ad she was all in she said i do at the altar but for clay it was a no-go now for a lot of us a lot of people felt like this was so random and it blindsided ad but honestly, there were so many hints and so many red flags that I say probably was hard for AD to pay attention to because of all of the affection and nicknames and sweet talk that Clay was flooding her with. Now, I won't blame it all on Clay. I think it's obvious that, you know, AD really just wanted love. I think she came into the Love is Blind show and she just really wanted love to begin with, that she was willing to accept a lot of things. But then I feel like when she got to know Clay, when she met him seeing his house you know you know found out about his morals really started to connect with him i think she really just ended up wanting clay so get what i'm saying i think ad came into the house and she really wanted love that she was willing to accept a lot and then she ended up wanting clay so she was willing to accept a lot from him as well but sometimes it's important to separate the affection from the emotional stability and longevity of the relationship and ponder if this union would really work and i really would of hope that ad would have did that but i don't think that she did that before she got to the altar as soon as clay started to have doubts for a lot of the girlies i know for a lot of us we felt like it was a wrap okay and it's not that long lasting marriages and relationships you never see or have any doubt it's just that clay's doubt was continuous and started to reoccur about different scenarios that they hadn't even made it to yet like him having the fear of cheating because his father was a cheater 80s finances her gaining weight after pregnancy like usually when a man is locked in there is very little doubt in his mind about the woman that he is pursuing or that he is in love with and if there is there's nothing that he doesn't feel like they can't overcome and that they can't get over so the fact that he was having so much doubt and he didn't feel like him in ad had the possibility to get over these things a lot of us could have guessed like mm, it ain't gonna work out baby now you guys probably think that i'm simple for this liking the pop the balloon videos but there's only one channel that i watch and i think her name is arletti because hers seem to be more serious and like people are actually there to find love instead of just someone to smash on this recent episode right there was a guy who popped a balloon on a female because she had a septum piercing he clearly said the reason why he popped the balloon was because of her septum piercing and he just couldn't get with it now tell me why the next girl who had the same septum piercing held the balloon out and she was waiting for him to pop it because she's like she's thinking to herself she's like if you won't accept it from me you won't ex if you won't accept it from her excuse me you won't accept it from me so he walks up to this girl with the same septum piercing and says I was going to give you an exception because there's just something about you. I wasn't about to pop your balloon. And guess what, y'all? This is the same woman who he ends up matching with. So they end up leaving the show together. This is the woman who he decides to choose, okay? So get this, the first woman 
he ain't want to accept her because of the septum piercing but the second one oh there's an exception this relates to the love is blind clay and ad because i really believe that clay would accept all of what he claims that he couldn't accept from ad from another woman who he feels like is the right fit clay didn't want to make ad feel bad so he constantly said i'm not ready and it's just not the right time but that is so untrue because if he truly felt that way why would you come on a show called love is blind he said that a lot of the experiences made him realize a lot about himself but i'm pretty sure everything that he learned was things that he already knew before he came on that show child i'm really glad that i heard ad say at the end that she was no longer dating him and that she wasn't going to try to work anything out with him because i do believe that both of them just need to move on i was kind of upset that clay was trying to convince her at the end that he was going to do the work on himself and that he was going to go to therapy because just because he saying that doesn't mean that he was going for the relationship to work out between him and ad he could just be going to therapy for himself it's just like okay stop trying to you know manipulate her at this point just leave it be let her be i know you feel bad for her you don't want to seem like the bad guy because she's crying but hey you're just being 100 percent real don't be telling her you're going to do the work because really if you really want that woman like really a man who truly sees the value in a woman feels like she's a prize and doesn't want to lose her he won't feel the need to work as hard to do all of this work for him to commit like it won't seem like such a challenge you know ad really wouldn't want that because if she really was to get with him after he felt like he did all of this work he would resent her for feeling like he had to do all of this work to be with her like if he really valued ad and seen her as a prize like i said it just wouldn't be as much work for him it would literally be a breeze in the park like clay can to love is blind for a reason he didn't come unsure he knew that he wanted to be married he just didn't end up finding the person that he wanted to be married to i've been seeing a lot of people's reviews i've been seeing a lot of people's tiktoks i've been seeing a lot of people comment on this and people are confused people are really upset at clay because they're like why would you get her all the way to the altar to say no why didn't you say that before he did hint around a lot of things and it just seems like ad wasn't taking it in and sometimes ladies when you're so accepting of a man's bs he will just continue to drag you through more stuff because he he sees that you're willing to accept what he's already put you through so he's like oh well i can do anything like and you know at this point with clay saying that he's going to do the work if ad was to stay around all is going to be is him dating other women to see if he can find the one if things don't work out with him and another woman or if he doesn't feel like he finds somebody better or is equal as ad then he would just go back to her but still he would never respect her because she waited around for him i just don't think it's a good idea like i said i think ad you know should leave she should know her worth now one thing i did see was people felt like clay just wasn't attracted to ad and i completely feel like that is untrue ad is completely beautiful and i can't speak for clay i can only speak for what i see with my own eyes she's beautiful like did you see do you see her skin do you see this woman's beautiful skin like beautiful nice shape smart woman you know i don't think that there's anything wrong with ad now you know what i'm saying the thing that made me laugh that i've seen people talking about in the comment section and please don't feel like i'm going on her it was the leave out joke you know what i'm saying now that did get on my nerves i'm not gonna lie you know but other than that as you guys can see on the screen right here she did fix that after the show so maybe she just couldn't get her hairstylist in or couldn't get an appointment in with her hairstylist while she was there which is completely understandable but you know ad is beautiful and i don't think that was so much of a thing i think that clay just feels like she wasn't the best that he could get i think he just wants the best or someone who he feels like is the best and he just didn't feel like ad was the best for him doesn't mean that she's not the best for someone else but she just wasn't the best for him and a lot of people were like oh maybe he likes i get this feel that he likes caucasian women i don't think that he likes black women 
and he said in the pods what his type was big lips you know a curvy body just something that seems along the lines of a black woman and i also decided to do a little research and look at his following for the ladies who know for the people who know a man is always going to be following his type most likely mostly men follow their type i'm not going to say always and he's following black women you know ain't no caucasian women on there i didn't really even see you know any hispanic women any you know i, I seen black women who he was following light skin dark skin he's following black women so i do believe that clay is into black women like i said i just feel like he doesn't feel like ad is the best he can get but how can he say that to her without hurting her feelings so of course he had to make every other excuse but i want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section this definitely you know blindsided a lot of us you know what i'm saying i guess hint to the show love is blind but y'all let me know what y'all think i will definitely be staying tuned for the reunion if y'all want me to talk about that reunion i will now let's go ahead and move into this last topic yes i'm gonna throw a little topic in here okay jt decided to post and let it be known how she feels about people calling her a mean girl she posted and she said if y'all actually knew how y'all sound saying someone gives the mean girl at y'all big ass age picking up twitter lingo and just running around sounding like somebody who about to tell their mama like a bee breathing y'all like i don't know she just gives me mean girl i hope y'all not like this in real life so that's what jt AT has to say about the naysayers and criticism about her being a quote-unquote mean girl and people calling her a mean girl now i wouldn't say that jt is necessarily a mean girl unless she is actually really mean to people i do feel like jt does have a little sass and a little attitude to her but i feel like it works out for her a lot of girls who have her same attitude can relate to her obviously her music blows up because a lot of people a lot of her fans can relate to her they love her sassiness and her attitude and her song so i feel like it works out for JT and that just goes to show what maybe some people don't like about you other people will love about you because they say they have the same personality and the same traits about them you know like who you are always works out and that goes for relationships too I really hope this video could give somebody some good advice okay just be yourself someone will either love you for you or relate to who you are for who you are okay once again my lovely TTs thank you for watching room for tea Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And like I always say, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.